723, Big 550 KTRS. There is a uh, new report that soda is cancer-causing. And what's so terrible about it? Dr. Richard Besser, ABC News Chief Health and Medical Editor. Thank you for joining us, Doctor. It's a pleasure to be here. What's so terrible about my diet soda sitting right next to me? Well, this is a study out today from Consumer Reports, and they were looking at a chemical called 4-MEI, which is a byproduct in the making of that caramel color that makes your soda look that, that brown. There are some groups that feel that this chemical can cause cancer in humans. It's been shown to cause cancer at very high doses in, in mice. California limits the amount that's in there, and Consumer Reports found levels that they say are too high. All right. What does this chemical do that soda companies need it so much? Well, it, it makes your soda that, that nice brown color, but there are chemicals that they can use that don't contain this 4-MEI that also give it that, that look. The thing is, the Food and Drug Administration has looked at the, the levels we're exposed to and feel that there's no risk. And if you translate the amount of 4-MEI that was fed to the mice to cause cancer into human cans of soda, you would need to drink more than 1,000 cans every single day to get that amount in. I'm, I'm, I'm about there, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, if you're drinking more than 1,000 cans a day, I think you've got to worry a little bit more about, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, about the sugar, the diabetes, the obesity from, from, uh, from drinking that soda than, uh, than you have to worry about this chemical. What's interesting about this, this chemical is that Diet Coke has very little of it, but, say, Diet uh, Pepsi has a lot more of it. That's sort of interesting. Yeah, from the Consumer Reports testing, they found that Pepsi, uh, the Pepsi one in particular, and Goya's Malta Goya had the highest levels. Uh, Pepsi, we talked to Pepsi, they said, look, we are in compliance. If you look at the amount of sodas that people have on average, they're not getting enough to even reach the California limits, and, and that uh, people don't need to worry about the amount in their soda. Uh, it may be that Coke is using a different chemical to color their, their products that doesn't contain as much of this. It's interesting. Every time something like this comes up there's always a reason why they use the chemical it keeps it fresher longer softer harder you know yeah. whatever but well, it's it, yeah, it, it, I mean, it seems like this is just for color it is and so if you read the label and it says artificial color or artificial caramel color uh, there's a chance it has this chemical you can look for one that doesn't say that or you look for one that's you know that's clear if, if it's not that brown color it doesn't have this chemical but but you know I would I would prefer that people worry about some of the other stuff that they're drinking and putting in their bodies rather than focusing on this one because uh, I think that that the number of people who are going to get cancer from this is uh, zero or close to it all right so I'm we just curious also what's the lesser of the two evils diet soda or regular soda that, uh, that's a great question I, I firmly come down that that you are better drinking diet soda than you are drinking sugared sodas I, I, I really do I, I think that the sugar we get from those sodas is really not very good for us but again if you're a moderation person and you have one of, of either one every every so often that's that's fine yeah, good, Dr. Besser, ABC News Chief Health and Medical Editor. I can, so I can, can continue drinking my diet soda, and I, I shouldn't worry. I, I don't think you need to worry. Okay. Yeah, Doctor, good. You have, uh, you have put me at Goodness. ease uh, this morning. Th Very good. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Pleasure. Take care. You got it. 727 here, Big 550.